Hey, everybody, I'm rejoined now by one of our TCM fans, Steve Zioki, to talk about why he picked the Defiant Ones. Welcome back, Steve. Thank you very much. So, uh, do you try to get friends of yours into classic movies? Are you like a classic movie recruiter? Definitely. I have friends come over often to practice foosball, and as TCM is locked onto my TV, I've gotten a few friends into them and surprised many people with how good the older classics can be. So, um, Stanley Kramer uh, ends up casting Tony Curtis and Sidney Poitier. It is now, as we look back, impossible uh, to think about anyone else playing the roles, including Robert Urich and Carl Weathers, who, of course, starred in the remake. <laughs> but Stanley Kramer uh, wanted Marlon Brando for Curtis's role, and I'm just curious how you think that might have changed the film. Well, um, I think Tony Curtis did a wonderful job, and as a first-generation North American to Hungarian parents like he is, I have to say that. But Marlon Brando would have been definitely believable as a tough guy, um, perhaps uh, a little more than Tony Curtis was. But Tony Curtis did his role very well, and Marlon Brando, as far as I'm concerned, owned the 50s anyways, and that ending we just witnessed segued Sidney Poitier into owning the 60s. So I think it was cast quite well. Yeah, I, I agree. I like the idea that the problem that uh, Kramer had with Tony Curtis is that he was too good looking and that somehow he was going to solve that problem by casting Marlon Brando. Um, so Steve, TCM in just a few days will turn 21 years old. Uh, do you remember your first exposure to TCM? Yes, my friend Laurie lent me a movie she bought from the TCM shop, The Petrified Forest. Oh, nice. And, and I went to her place and watched a few movies, and when I got home, it started the last six, five to six years of nonstop viewing, and now I'm getting pink pie pieces in Trivial Pursuit right away because I've been educated very well in only the last five or six years. All right, well, uh, do me a favor and thank Lori. Uh, we, we appreciate it enormously. Steve, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. That does it for the latest installment of Fan Favorites. We look forward to doing it again and doing it soon. Coming up next, the film that earned Ellen Burstyn the Academy Award for Best Actress. It's this week's edition of The Essentials with Robert Osborne and Sally Field. And that is starting in just a few minutes. Tonight on TCM's The Essentials, Ellen Burstyn tries to make a fresh start and Alice doesn't live here anymore. Then Francis Ford Coppola chronicles a woman's struggle in The Rain People. And Janet Lee builds a new life in One is a Lonely Number. You're invited.